The chakra itself is a dot. It's a point called the bindu. The chakra itself is a pure archetypal point. As Jung said, the archetype itself, the archetype itself has no content. It's just a dot of potential. It has a specific kind of potential, but it has not yet expressed itself until it expresses itself, it's just a pure feeling state. It's the pure medicine that we're seeking in our life to make, to have that unitive experience, to go to the center of whatever particular chakra we're circling around. Now, when the chakra manifests or expresses it, when the point expresses itself, it expresses itself in four essential patterns that co-arise and co-create each other. And we, we call them the I space, which has to do with the mind states, the inner subjectivity states, the identity states, the body space, which is the body structures from the physical to the super subtle structures that provide a scaffolding that holds and supports the mind states the we space, that's the uh, inter interpersonal, collective mind and emotional states, and the world space of the environment, both the natural environment and what's I think called the built environment, you know, that humans build. Although the great poet and naturalist Gary Snyder pointed out that building highways is animal behavior. So it's all nature. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's, it can be helpful to even make making laws as animal behavior for the human animal. But it's still a distinction between the inner side of the culture and the artifacts of the culture, the world space. To, they are co-arise, which means that to change anything in any one ramifies through and shifts and changes all of the uh, everything. They're all co-arising co in that way. <laughs>